Got my five minute meal here. I'm starving. I really need to stop skipping breakfast because this is ridiculous. Uh, this is so good. So today, you guys, is kind of probably gonna be a little bit of a random video, but uh, I'm so excited because I am going to go see some tiny houses today. And I figured I would bring you guys along with me because I don't know, this whole thing, this whole process is so cool to me and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So we're going to leave out and tour some tiny houses in a little while. But um, just to give you guys some background because I know this might just be out of left field, like tiny houses, what, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> so we had actually been thinking about for a good little while of buying a second home and this would be for like a vacation, a getaway home for us because we want somewhere that's like a different change of scenery. I really want somewhere super rural, a lot of nature around, um, just somewhere where it's peaceful, quiet, just a, an escape from the city life. I like city life but sometimes you just want that country life. You want to you know, just be one with nature and you want to clear your mind and have your own space. So I was looking into places for that. And then um, this year, we just kind of got on this tiny home kick. We got this idea in our minds. And I actually, I was watching Tiny Home Nation. It's the show on Netflix that I kind of got obsessed with. And that just solidified in my mind, like, this just seems like the perfect thing for us. This seems like a really good idea. I want to look more into this because we want to start this process pretty soon. So um, yeah, that's why we are going to go see some tiny houses today. And I'm really anxious to see how I am going to like them once I'm physically in one because I've never seen a tiny home in person. I've never been to a tiny home. So this is so new to me but from what i've seen on tv i'm thinking that's the direction that we want to go in especially for like right now just because there's so many pros to them y'all know that i am on my minimalist journey i'm on my minimalist type of thing just really paring down my life living in a tiny home i mean like i said it's going to be like a vacation home for now but eventually down the line once the you know the nest is empty and everything like that we could have the option to make that the primary home so that would obviously be minimal living simplistic living i love that in tiny homes there's really no wasted space every inch every area has a purpose and i really really love that because in most houses a lot of people there's just <laughs> space that they don't use rooms that they don't use and also they are just so affordable it's crazy um like for instance for the price i would pay to buy a new car i could get a whole tiny house so the price is great the build time of course it doesn't take as long as building a full-size house and then another thing that really really is drawing me to the concept of having a tiny house is the fact that you can move them with a tiny home you're not stuck in a space like you are a regular house on a foundation if you want to be in a certain place for let's say five years and then after that you're like okay i want to i want to change the scenery i want to go somewhere else you can go and take your house with you and i just think that is the coolest thing ever so this is just like a really exciting time right now um i have a couple developments that you guys will know about very very soon and with this house situation and all that it's a lot of things happening but good things speaking of houses i do want to bring you up to speed on some developments happening in here. So I'm gonna throw you guys to some footage I shot last week. Update on the pantry. We are still looking really good. It's been so functional. It's been so great with finding what I need and just having everything laid out like this. So everything has been 
going really well with it. Some of you suggested that I move the onions away from the potatoes because they will cause the potatoes to sprout and go bad quicker. But since we go through potatoes in here so fast, I really haven't had any issues with spoiling. So I am keeping it like that. It's working just fine. And these baskets with the appliances in them have been super handy. I keep the ones that I use the most at the top. So all I have to do is just go and grab them and they're really convenient like that. So I haven't had any issues there. So yeah, just letting you guys know how it's all been working out. I'm still loving the setup. Some of you had asked about this chalkboard calendar here. This is where we put like our meal planning. We also jot down stuff if we need it from the supermarket. We'll just write it up on the top. And um, so this is really handy as well. This has been here for a really long time and I can't remember exactly. I want to say I got it from Amazon but that could be wrong. But if I can find it I will link to it below. And then another decor update. My glam room slash closet. So I am actually in the process of re vamping I guess you could say this room if you guys have noticed I kind of changed the setup of my like cubbies I guess you can call these things I separated this one and this one that used to be you know together and then this mirror was in that corner but I separated them and put the mirror in the middle yeah I feel like pushing these out and expanding this and making it go from wall to wall pretty much. It just makes the room look like it has more space. It opens the room up and um, just makes it look a lot bigger. So I do like that. Shoe closet over here, nothing changed there, nothing really to see and blank space over there. My desk also, I have changed it out. I used to have a silver desk, changed it to a white desk, but it's very vanilla in here. It's very whitewashed and I just want some color, some pizzazz, some character in here, but I don't want it to look, you know, cheesy or tacky. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do, especially on this side of the room. You can see that my beloved white couch is no longer here. I went ahead and got rid of it. Probably gonna be getting rid of my Amsterdam and Manhattan posters as well. I was thinking about doing a gallery wall right here and maybe a bench there or something because I really need some type of seating in here. And I'm also open to changing these wardrobe cubbies to different parts of the room like maybe if I want to move my desk no I think I want to keep the desk there so it's facing the sunlight because that's that really helps me with my makeup application but I'm open to just changing stuff around so you guys let me know give me some suggestions what would you do with this space what would you add how would you infuse some color some you know some vibrancy in this room because I really want to get this done as soon as possible so this is just one less thing that I have to worry about and I can, you know, relax in this room again. Also, I told you guys in my video I just did, the things I no longer buy, that I am just over buying designer bags. I'm, I don't foresee myself buying them moving forward. And I realized I have a couple that I, I feel like I need to unhaul, I need to let go, I need to let someone else make use of them because I'm really not and it just doesn't make sense for me to hold on to them. So I'm going to be selling a couple of my bags. First one is this one. This is the Gucci Padlock Supreme and this is what it looks like. It's in really good condition. It does have a little bit of scratching on the hardware, you know, with wear that's pretty much par for the course but other than that this bag is in super good condition it comes with keys in this little thing here you can actually and you can actually lock the bag with it I'll try it on so you guys can see how it looks so this is what it looks like crossbody it's time for me to say goodbye and move this on to someone that actually wants it and then I'm also giving up this little number right here this is a chanel i think it's called the extra mini flap it's a small flat bag i thought i would get a lot more use out of it but i really just never think to wear this bag i've really only worn it a couple times since i've gotten it over oh goodness four or five something like that years ago doesn't have any zipper compartments just two main compartments here and like a card holder this comes with the authenticity card i bought this in paris at the flagship store so 
It comes in this box. Let me see what's in here. Wrapping paper, Chanel ribbon. Yeah, that's it. And then a non-designer piece. I'm selling this H&M bag. It just doesn't work with my lifestyle anymore. It's a bit too big. It's not something that I need. It does come with a shoulder strap, so you can wear it on your shoulder. Two open compartments and one zipper compartment in the middle here. So yeah, I will be listing those three bags and I might be listing one other one. I'm on the fence about this one, so I'm not gonna put it in this video, but if I do decide to sell it, I will put it up on my website. So check the description box. I will put a link to my closet sale and that's where I'm gonna be listing those bags. If you guys have any questions about them, if you're interested in them and you wanna um, ask questions about them before you purchase, let me know in the comments or um, you can send me an email or something. This ice chai is so good. All right, so I did like a re-up on a few beauty items because y'all know like I have my favorites and I was running out so I had to get some more. So I placed an order on Sephora and I just got my stuff in so I'll show you guys really quick what I got. I got this Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is like my favorite primer. I've used other primers in the past for eyeshadow and stuff and this is like the one that works the best for me out of the ones I've tried. Also got another bottle of NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I've been using this foundation like two years now something like that and this is like my holy grail I've been sticking to it before this one I had used a bunch of different ones and I don't know what it was but it seemed like after a while of me using each of them they would start to not look right they would start to look splotchy and just not agree with my skin anymore but this one has never let me down it just smooths out everything it just looks so nice to me so Sticking with it, had to get some more of the NARS Sheer Glow. And then I got this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I had a favorite setting powder, which was the, what is it called? Cover FX. I think it was translucent as well. And I had been using that for quite a while. But I have no idea what's going on with that because every time I try to go on to Sephora website, they don't have it. And this has been going on for like months now but anyway i decided to try out the hourglass setting powder because it had good reviews it had like four out of five stars i want to say and so i ordered the small one the it's not a sample size but it's very very small just to try it out and see how i liked it and it was it worked pretty good so i went ahead and bought the full size container that's actually what I'm wearing today so you guys let me know what you think and then lastly I got some lip colors these are both from Fenty Beauty now these are actually the first Fenty products I have ever bought because I tried the I think it was the pro filter concealer they actually sent it to me in a PR package to try out and I really did not like the concealer at all so that kind of made me apprehensive to try out any more products from the line but i had saw these when i was on sephora and i really liked the colors i really liked how they looked, and i felt like i needed some new lip colors in my collection just to have those two options for a bold lip if i'm going out somewhere and i want to be super jazzy i'm actually going to go ahead and try them on and see how they look hopefully they're good because um they did have good reviews on the site so this red is called Uncensored. I'm gonna have to clean this up. All right, y'all, so I definitely could have done a neater application, but forgive me, I'm just, you know, this is just a demo. So first impressions, I really like how it feels on my lips, like it doesn't feel dry. It glides on very, very smooth. Seems like it dries pretty quickly. That's good. And I don't see any transfer on my teeth, so I will give this one a thumbs up. Alright, so this brown one is called Unveil. This actually doesn't look as dark as I expected it to, but we'll see how it looks on my lips, so. Okay. I really like this applicator. I think I overlined. <laughs> this half of my lip this half of my top lip so again it's not the neatest application but it definitely does look darker on my lips than in the bottle and i just love this dark gothic kind of feel with this so this is another one 
thumbs up for me y'all let me know what you think with this red it might be just a little bit too bright for me so I think when I wear this I'm gonna pair it I'm gonna first line my lips with a little bit of a darker color and then put the red on and see if that helps tone it down a little but for my first time trying these out pretty impressed so cool I wanted to give you guys just a super quick update on my hair I'm still rocking with the rice water treatment It's still doing me very very good it has curbed my shedding makes my hair feel a lot stronger so right now I am doing the rice water treatments twice a month so you know about every other week or so just an update to my rice water video if you guys were wondering and as for my heat free challenge I'm still on that it is October now so we are in month 10 I have committed to not using heat tools no heat styling whatsoever on my hair for all of 2020 but this is actually going so much easier than I even thought it would be I don't know why I thought it would be difficult to go without heat because most of my styles that I do I do them on stretched hair when you know I do my wash routine and I stretch my hair overnight so I really like in the past I didn't use heat unless I didn't plan well enough like if I had to quickly blow dry my hair for some reason so I'm thinking I might just extend this no heat thing for me indefinitely because I really have no reason to use heat I can do my hair in so many ways without heat styling but I did notice one thing that I will include in my roundup, my update, no heat video, <laughs> that might be a con. So I'll tell you guys about that later. But as far as styling, as far as day to day and everything like that goes, I have not missed the heat. It's been so, so easy thus far and everything is going swell. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about what's going on right now. I am going to go ahead and skedaddle because we're about to leave out soon and go see some houses. How cute. This one has little porch. Let's go inside. Hey oh, oh, <laughs> hello. Let's look at the kitchen. I love this flooring though. And then, living area. Mm -hmm. Fireplace. I like that it has a little bar area right there. I really love this. This is like a farmhouse sink, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really love this. Um, the red house next door is pretty much all the standards, um, except for the deck and the, and the, uh, the deck and the, there's a microwave in there. Okay. You could put it, like, right there. Where? Put a TV right there. There's a window right there. <laughs> But this one has a um, a back patio. But I just wish that the, the fridge wasn't right in front of the the bathroom. Huh? It's tight. Yeah. porch nice seating area right mm -hmm. I can see myself out here <laughs> okay let's go in hello yes. it's gonna be my porch this is gonna be your porch I'm great thank oh, you do you like this one better yeah yes. close the door babe I do too. Yeah, the kitchen is much more spacious. Okay. Hold on, let me do my hair. <laughs> I'm not gonna get you, I promise. <laughs> so that is the front door. And this is 399 square feet as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. I like this so much better than the one over there. This one's dressed up quite a bit. This Hang 10 package you see right up there. Oh, okay. That can be applied to any house. So if you like that feature and you find a floor plan that you kind of like a little better, just remember the Hang 10 package can be bumped and done to any Oh, house. got so it. Just keep that in mind. But yeah, this one does look nice and big because of that. And the mm -hmm. transom windows and the light colors makes it look yeah. very spacious and light. Maybe. It does. Mm -hmm. So we have a little eating area. Mm -hmm. yeah. Washer, Washer dryer. Here's the bed. Oh, look at this. The bedroom is so much better, too. Yeah, this size home gives you an opportunity to put a king size bed in that bedroom. This is so good. The other nice. home is usually the, the, the what we call the thinner ones, 11 foot 2 wides, or mainly just queen size bed size. Mm, okay. The dressers, do they come built in like this? Yeah, you can build them in. If you wanted to admit it, you could and do your own, but yeah, they're built in. Very spacious. I'm just like in love with this one right now. Got the barn doors, storage. And storage up top. Then right here is the bathroom. Super nice. Shower is a nice size. It's not, doesn't feel like it's like a tiny space. This bathroom has storage. Lots of storage. Living area. One thing that would probably happen in the, in the loft would be with the bedroom and bath. Because you can't put it, if you put it right here, then it, then this really gets pushed way up. So you still add a porch to it if you want. And the loft right now is over the entire, like, part of the kitchen bathroom all the way to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But you can literally just do it above the, the kitchen only if you want. Yeah, okay. This is another one. Same size, but it has a loft, so you can put another bed up here. And I really love how open it is. It has stairs. Got and that's the loft space. Ooh, coming down these stairs, though. <laughs> and here's the master bedroom with the bathroom here another one with the loft i like this one because i feel like the stairs are more yeah, it's easier to climb <laughs> whoa Loft area. The room in here is smaller. The room is smaller? Yeah, it's like a box. Oh gosh. Literally. You're right. Oh god, I'm claustrophobic. Never mind. <laughs> in this bathroom, I don't like how it's angled. Oh, cool. 